Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. I know, right? I'm recording the Minecraft episode. Can you fucking believe it? It has been such a long time. But anyways, I am out on Ember here. And I was just flying, you know, flying quite far to basically find an ice biome. I basically want an ice dragon, but I haven't been able to find an ice biome. So I'm really trying hard to get one uh, just to show up. And I finally got it to show up. I've also been killing... Uh, other dragons and taking their loot and stuff like that. But yeah, so this is my first time in the actual biome. And I hope I don't die. And I also hope that this will count towards something. But I have no idea. I've been flying way too long. Oh, it's like something up there. Oh, a nice dragon. Because I mean, this ice is gonna burn. This is my first ever ice dragon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it hurts too. Let's go ahead and just burn him up and see if we can get anything right. They're definitely hard to kill. Not the easiest thing in the world to kill her. Hmm. And more important than this one, taking its flush or. I have no idea. Hmm. What's your blood? Uh, blood's a bit more of a bitch to get. Yeah, what is not the easiest thing to get? Whatever, let's just take a nap real quick. Hmm. I don't know why it's not one. I don't know. My game's been doing this weird thing where I have to quit. I can reload into the game. For some reason, it's just not. This is not working. That's fucking weird. It's really annoying too. <laughs> and don't worry guys, this won't be the whole entire episode. I'm probably gonna do some building in this episode. I just want to show you what I've been doing. I'm also gonna basically try to find a nest for a nice dragon. And then I will come back and show you guys. But I think I'm gonna take the blood. Yes. Blood's annoying to get. <sighs> really annoying to get. Let's go and take the bones. What the hell are you? Good shit. Ooh, hey, that was a new one. Dredge shards. That is, um... Some... Entrance in the Lois. And put that there. And the first there was a skull for one though. Put that in there. There. And let's go ahead and pick this up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a cut. And I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. Alright, guys, I am back. So I'm just going to make sure I'm recording. There you go. Uh, so I found a nice dragon. And I've died to it. Oh my god, is it coming out? I think it might be coming out. I have no idea if it's coming out or not. I'm fucking nervous. Oh yeah, she's coming out.
that normal as we had. Fitch is still inside there. Hmm. This could be very bad. Hmm. Um. I'm 100% positive I won't be able to kill it. Um, by myself, without the dragon. This is pretty bad right now. I could try to pop my dragon inside. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna figure this out, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. I do not know how to manage this, but... Got my dragon in here. I think it's because it's asleep. What's this? Just when I got that recorded. Oh my god, this took me forever. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was not a fun thing to do. That was really not fun. Okay. Alright, let's um. Dragon Eye. Mm -hmm. Silver Dragon Eye. Well, that's our first ever Ice Dragon. We're gonna describe the entire thing for it. That's a pain in the butt, but you got it done. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna check all the stuff, and then I'll bring you guys back. Oh yeah, guys, I am back. Um, so, I just got back. I put everything up. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that took forever. So, I didn't record the entire thing, because it, it took probably close to, what, three hours just to find the biome. And three hours to actually find the the, um, the dragon itself. Hoping it was a female. I got very lucky it was a female. You know, and hoping that there would actually be a dragon that's there. It was really fucking annoying. I'm not gonna lie, like it was awful. Oh, you back out. Um, yeah, it took forever. And also, I think the reason why I haven't been recording much is I haven't been wanting to play Minecraft, and that's kind of why I haven't done any, you know, any recording here. But we're just going to pop this guy up and set him down. i going to grab some food for her. Um, and so we'll be having our dragon egg, which I'm probably not going to hatch today. I think what I'll do is I'm going to build um, some things. Because we have, um, 
Okay, so the something go up in here. What is that? Iron nugget? I don't know if I have that. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, let me drop it for me. Um, but yeah, it's just yeah, we still have these guys. They're actually pretty pretty old now. You know, they're getting up there, but I'm not gonna raise them anymore. Um then I might, I might swap out Emerald and just have one of those rays. Because Emerald, I think once Emerald hits 200 days, I'm going to swap her out and I'm going to have the male there rays. Um, because I do want to get one of each um, colors, but I don't know if I can breed and get that red dragon from that. I'm not too sure. Um, basically what we'll do is we'll swap out between dragons um, individually. The dragon that we use for that day. But um, basically, what else I was doing on my way, because I'm going to show you right now, so I traveled all that, all the way up there to get there. And this is good, because I also needed an ice biome as well, once I started to do the mammals, which will be pretty soon, so I wanted that. Um, and it's just, you know, nice to find an ocean out. I found a couple uh, fortresses that I might take down, let's see. Um, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, I and also the whole reason why I did that as well is because I needed I need dragon blood uh, because I want to make uh, more fire dragon steel or uh, fire dragon steel armor uh, for the dragon, but it's it's really expensive, so I haven't been doing that much. But anyways, let's go around the park and I'm gonna show you what happened. So one of the Dinocus did die, um, not Dean, but one of them did die. Um, basically, they got stuck and they were like glitching out. So I tried to push them back in. See, like that is no. These guys are notorious for fucking escaping. I don't know how to solve it without making things a bit look like shit. Um, but yeah, it's just one of them got out and there was nothing I could do about it. Um,. You know, I tried to get him back in, but he was stuck in the barb, so I was able to farm, um, harvest the iron bar. So what happened is he just he glitched the fuck out, and yeah, it's really annoying. And then I hit him with a pickaxe on accident, and he just died. Um, one of the rexes got out as well, so I had to remove their ball from the exhibit because I'm pretty sure they were hitting it and getting stuck and glitching out. And one of the Ceratops, one of the Triceratops as well, died as well. Um, I don't know which one it is, but I did place it and let him grow as this one. He's still pretty young. But he basically got stuck in the thing there. And, um, he yeah, died. And we do have a bunch more DNA for these guys now. But it's still very annoying. Very annoying. I've had to go through all this crap. Bunch of animals dying lately. It's been really annoying. Um, let's check on the circle. I think I do have. Oh no, did he get out? No, oh, you're right there. I'm pretty sure this guy can be tamed though. I'm not going to. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he can be tamed. Does he need. I need a little bit to make him happier, I guess. Let's just go ahead and get the hell out of here. I'm pretty sure I have an RDNA somewhere, so I'm going to want to pop that in here soon. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what's happened with the world. Um, I think a lot of things has happened. Um, both of the real quick. I'm pretty sure I've done a lot of terraforming. Uh, but that's about it. Um, I already know where our next project is going to be. It's going to be the pterosaurs, and I want to start working on that. Uh, I've just been so busy with life lately. Like, I broke my ankle. Um, I was basically bedridden for like two months. Uh, I played a lot of Ark in that time, and then I kind of just stopped playing it completely. Even though we we're pretty far in, it's just, you know, people are constantly attacking the world offline. It's just really fucking annoying. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I just, I can't stand Ark anymore, and I was really burnt out with games, and it's kind of why I didn't play anything. You know, that's no real excuse, but... 
Ah, era dos. Todos los hombres. But yeah, that's basically what's happened. So today, what's gonna be, um, what I do did do over here though is I did restock quite a bit of stuff. Um, I'll show you. Uh, uh what else? More stone. More bolts. More stone. Wood. I stocked up on a shit ton of wood. Bricks, stuff like this. Yeah, I, I did stock up pretty well on stuff. But, um, yeah. I'll show you where I've terraformed. It isn't a whole lot, I don't think. I don't know if you remember, there used to be a hill back here, but that's been completely cut in. And this hill over here, which isn't done, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I'm not done cutting into this. Um,. Just take a jump back here. How far am I supposed to go back? I think. I think it's supposed to go all the way back down through here. Down through here as well. All I know is I'm supposed to cut back into this mountain. I think it's supposed to. Yeah, this mountain. Needs to stay on this level, so I'm supposed to cut back down into that. And then, um, the are going to go up there, which is something I want to start working on today, but I need to lay out the plans, lay out the work for it. Um, go up on this hill here, we'll bring the road up there. And I think we'll just do it here. I mean, I need to terraform it though. So, what I was thinking, since the cage is on that level, this hole, I was gonna cut right through, right down through, all the way around. Yeah, staying on this level, all the way. This entire thing basically was gonna go. Uh, which I think is what I'm gonna start to work on today. And I'm gonna cut back once I've made some progress. Anyways, that's basically what's happened. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to play more of this game. I do have a video of the Isle that probably would come out. It's uh, Spinosaurus 8. Great gameplay, but it's something. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Alright guys, I am back. So what I've gone ahead and done, I just gotta make sure I can... Yeah, I am recording. But I've basically gone ahead and flattened this entire area out. Uh, it took about 30-40 minutes. It wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't too great, but yeah, it's all gone, all falling out. I've had to refill in some of the ground. Uh, I've gotten quite a bit of stuff from it, actually. You can see, I can have... Oh, I have all this in here. Plus all this on me right now, currently. So, yeah, quite a lot of resources uh, for just terraforming a bit of stuff. Um, for 30 minutes to terraform work, which, nope, it's not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, but yeah, so this is all ready, and I have the entrance for the path ready to go as well. I probably will extend it out by one more, maybe? Nah, I think three should be enough. We can go up. Let's go all the way up. Mm, let's see here. All the way up to here, and I think I'm going to just bring it straight right down. Straight right down over here probably stop it here and then this will be the bird cage platform which is quite big so I can make something pretty big as well which will be good um because so I'm gonna have Confucius Soreness in there as well as Trinidad I know it's not a Confucius Soreness is a bird and not like an actual Trinidad but it you know you know it's a flyer I really don't want to make an our bird cage honestly I just want to make one but yeah it's a it's coming along pretty well. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna bed. I'm gonna cut forward until I get some work done on the path, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I have gone ahead and finished the road completely. Uh, this took a bit of time. It wasn't too bad once I got up here. You know, this is kind of the easy spot. I am running out of glowstone, so I will have to go run some glowstone later. But yeah, this <clears throat> this wasn't terrible. It it's definitely a lot harder than it looks. But yeah, I don't hate this. This was uh. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, it's a road. What can I say? But basically, after this, I'm basically going to put all this other stuff up, and we're going to go ahead and start getting ready for this uh, build for this Trinidad exhibit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab my stuff real quick so I can run over and put the uh, get the eggs ready at least. Um, just something I can do. This video is going to be really long today, and but you know what? That's fine. But yeah, so this is taking, I don't know, time's up. It's 4 o'clock, so about 2 hours, which isn't terrible. Building the exhibit won't be hard. I just have to use um, actual glass block, which I'm not too um, looking forward to, honestly. Because actual glass block, um, first off, you get less, you know, because it's one, one glass block per sand. And so, you know, it's not as efficient as pains, but I don't want them to escape, so. And I also went ahead and pulled out our other two dragons here so they could uh, raise up and scale a little older. Um, I do need to put armor on them and stuff like that, which I am currently working on. Gotta feed them. But let's go ahead and get these uh, trained on DNAs and the DNAs. Let's go ahead and get those just incubated up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some food for these guys as well. I'm gonna feed them. Oh, and we're just going to grab that up. Uh, I put uh, <coughs> Ember, em, em, Ember away because Ember is like 200 days old, so I don't really need him out. So it was just better to not have him out there on the side. Hopefully none of these explode, but you never know. You never know. Alright, that's good. What do I get from us? Gas of Stornis? Do I even have Gas of Stornis? I have no idea. Gas Stornis, or whatever you want to call it. No, I don't. It's not a terror bear. Do I have all the terror bears now? I think I might. I'm not too sure. Well, that's pretty good. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna go I'm gonna cut here, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. So this is what I've come up with um, for the design of the cage. I was gonna do a circle, but you know, my train really wasn't working for me, and yeah, so I decided I'd do this. Um, and what I might do is bring the path up that way sometime, and what we'll also be doing. Is that we're gonna take this area here and I'm thinking about building something here. So what I might do is just terraform this in quite far back, so probably around <clears throat> hmm, around up to here, so I'd say. Uh, <clears throat> and build like an actual hotel or just some type of building. Which would look pretty good. I think I might terraform a lot of this actually. Uh, maybe even up to here. Just cut it straight down, straight into the mountain. We will see. We'll have to wait and see, though. Uh, but, yeah, that would be pretty cool to have that there. And then start working on other projects around here. Uh, because, you know, this is pretty far away. I kind of want to surround this entire area beforehand. But that's not what today's episode is about. It's about finishing this. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work again. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. It's finally time to add the animals. I've done the entire glass and the decoration. I've added all the toys. I have the eggs on me. I'm going to do... He's just on his first. I don't know how this is gonna go, but yeah, this video will come out Wednesday, and I think I'm gonna try to do a video. So let's just. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Um, I do have to feed the turtles the second they pop out. But we have some Confucius Sonuses, which is beautiful. I really hope they don't die. Um, let's run back and grab some fish real quick. I'll also sleep the night away. Uh, so we can start to fetch the trinodons out. And um, yeah, we're slowly but surely getting closer to being done with the Cretaceous creatures as well as the North American ones. Uh, I still got a couple more I gotta put in. But pretty soon we're gonna start working on the Jurassic and I would love to start getting the aquariums going. Because those are gonna take probably the most amount of time out of everything. Uh, to accomplish. Uh, I think I have a crap ton of fish. Uh, I do have to feed these guys the second they pop out because um, 
Uh, I'm a little nervous that uh, they're going to go straight for the Fusosaurus and eat them. I really hope they don't. If they do, that's fine. I mean, it's whatever. Uh, it just means they're going to make a little bird cage. And if I have to do that, I might put them in the hotel room. Oh, we'll see. I mean, they're basically a parrot, so... Who knows? Up for the star of the show, which is Trinodon. Uh, I think I'm going to hatch them over here, just far enough away from everything else. we got four of them that's going to go in here. Um, I don't know if I want to put any more in here. I do have to do a lot of testing, and I really hope they won't be able to get out. Uh, but you never really know when it comes to this type of thing. Uh, You never really know. Warm, cold, warm. Push these all together here. Oh, yep. Yeah. That terrifies me. I really gotta go through and let this entire area up. I really don't want to lose um, all the channels because if these guys get out, I'm pretty sure they're out for good. And that's also kind of why I wanted to finish uh, this enclosure real early on because honestly, I went through probably uh, half of a shulker box, maybe a full shulker box of glass, which is quite a lot. It's like half of an actual half of a double chest. So, yeah, I have to replace all that glass and do a bit of sand farming later, but I'm not too worried about it. But this did not take as long as I thought it did. It definitely, I don't know, the, the, the building itself, so the cage itself was probably only like three hours. It was the terraforming and definitely doing the bridge that took the longest. I think that was like probably around four hours to do all this. It just, it took so long, things weren't lining up. And, you know, it just took forever. And I mean, this is the first time I've built on this world in over, got a couple months now. Just want to make sure I am recording while we are at it. Yes, I am still recording. Beautiful. But yeah, it's 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 ridiculous how long this is actually taken. I'm gonna go kill that creeper real quick. It's making me nervous as all. He's dead. Um, I have no idea if the Trinons will actually eat this guy. If they do, they do. I really hope they don't. What are you going to do about it? Anyways, so, yeah, what's been happening with me? Uh, why haven't I been hosting? And for the most part, it's been boredom. Uh, next part is because I broke my ankle and I really just did not want to, like, have to record while I was basically bedridden for that time. It sucked. Um, what else? Uh, wasn't I was really busy as well, and so I was just you know I just didn't have time to do it. Um, and now I do have time, which is great. The second is his pub. Untamed. Untamed. Oh, they're all untamed. I gotta go grab them fresh. Oh, they're all untamed. I gotta go grab them fresh. Alright. Uh, what do we got here? We've got a male. They're male. Female. Which is good. And what about you? Male. This is first. Total sausage fish. Uh, Alright, let's go grab some more fish for myself and for the trinobes. But yeah, it's just I've been so busy lately, I just didn't have the time. I think next episode we might Yeah, I'd like to do the hotel. And after that I think we'll probably do hmm, What's the next on the list? We don't know for animal wise. I mean, we could knock out the Jurassic exhibit, which is going to be probably the biggest build I have to do. And it's going to suck. But, you know, the closer I get that done, the closer we get to Spinosaurus. So, you know. It's also kind of weird how 
they didn't tame the second they were born. I don't know if Trinellons just don't tame their hatch to... Um, but we'll definitely have to do a lot of tests with this, especially when they get older. I really hope they don't break out. You also gotta hatch the, uh, that dragon egg at some point. I think what we'll do with that is we'll wait until I get the red fire dragon egg, and then I'm gonna try to collect the rest of the ice dragons, and we'll just hatch them all at once. I basically just want one of each. That's what I'm basically going for. There we go. There we go. Uh, these guys over here. Look like they're doing good. We're just trying to get the ball in the field of that. Alright, well it seems like a success. We just gotta let these guys grow up a bit. I really hope the birds don't die. But we'll see. Um, they shouldn't hunt because they shouldn't be hungry. But, you know. It's a video game. And um, video games aren't real realistic, are they? But anyways, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.